Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Are you ready to create a Windows 11 bootable USB drive from scratch? Whether you're upgrading your PC or installing Windows 11 on supported or unsupported hardware, this beginner-friendly guide will walk you through every step using Rufus. Let's dive in and get that USB ready. Step 1. Download Rufus. First, open your favorite web browser. In the address bar, type rufus.i to visit the official Rufus website. You can also find the link in the video description below. Once the page loads, scroll down to the download section. For most users, the standard 64-bit version is perfect. Click the link to download it. When the download finishes, click to open the file. This will launch Rufus on your computer. Step 2. Get the Windows 11 ISO. Let's walk through how to download it from Microsoft's official website. Open your web browser and type Windows 11 ISO in the address bar, then press Enter. Select the first link in the results. Once the page loads, scroll down to find the Download Windows 11 section. Here, look for the option labeled Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO for x64 devices. Then, click the Confirm button to confirm your selection. Next, you'll be prompted to choose a language. Scroll through the list and select English United States. Click the Confirm button to proceed. Finally, you'll see a button labeled 64-bit download. Click that button to start downloading the ISO file. Save the file somewhere easy to find, like your desktop, so you can locate it quickly for the next steps. Step 3. Prepare your USB drive. Now, grab a USB flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes of storage, plug it into your computer. Back in Rufus, you should see your USB drive listed under the device tab. If it's not showing, double check that it's properly connected. Next, click the Select button in Rufus to choose your Windows 11 ISO file. Navigate to where you saved it, like the desktop, and double click the file to load it. This tells Rufus which operating system to put on your USB. Step 5. Configure Rufus settings. For the image option, stick with standard Windows installation for most cases. Under Partition Scheme, choose GPT for modern computers with UEFI BIOS. If your PC is older, from before 2012, you might need MBR instead. But try GPT first. You can always redo this with MBR if it doesn't boot. For the volume label, Name your USB something clear, like Windows 11. Type it in the field. Leave the file system and cluster size on their default settings for simplicity. Click Start to begin the process. A window will pop up with customization options. I recommend keeping the box checked to remove Windows 11 hardware requirements, even if your PC is supported, to avoid any hiccups. Also, check the option to skip the online Microsoft account requirement for a smoother setup. Optionally, you can disable data collection to bypass privacy questions during installation. Once you're happy with these settings, click OK. Hey, if you're finding this guide helpful, please hit that subscribe button to join the passionate about tech community. Rufus will warn you that all data on the USB will be erased. Make sure you've backed up any important files before proceeding. If you're ready, click OK to start formatting and creating the bootable USB. This process usually takes about 10 minutes, so grab a coffee while you wait. You'll see a progress bar, and when it's fully green, your USB is ready. Step 8. Verify and use. Close Rufus and open this PC to check your USB drive. It should now be named Windows 11 and contain the bootable files. You can use this USB to perform a clean install or repair Windows 11 on any computer, whether it meets Microsoft's hardware requirements or not. That's it. You've just created a Windows 11 bootable USB drive using Rufus. Plug it into your target PC, boot from the USB, and start your Windows 11 installation. Thanks for watching, and stay passionate about tech. See you in the next one.